What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. We're finally on the water. If you guys can hear this right now, it's like perfect day out today. Like there's like minimal wind and uh, the weather is just perfect, you know? Everything is going great, just absolutely great. Uh, the wind's gusting at about, nah, I don't know, maybe like 30 miles an hour, no big deal. So we're gonna try and see if we can get on some good fish. Today, we're gonna be trying out the mad juicy baits that I got in the mail. Uh, we're gonna be, I have, I'm gonna be trying out the baby peacock mainly, and I have three other ones that I might try out and see if I can get some good fish with those. So stay tuned for more, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let me show you guys uh, the bait that I'm throwing right now. This is called the Baby Peacock. Really nice bait. Um, I really hope that I can get something on these baits. I'm pretty sure I can. I've seen videos, people fishing with them. Uh, Mad Juicy Baits, they make some really nice baits. So what I'm going to do is leave. I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to check them out if you want and uh, try them out. There we go. Mine cichlid. First fish of the day. What? Oh, guys, right there on the mad juicy bait. Mine cichlid. First fish of the day. Nice. All right, let's get this. Let's get this sucker out real quick. All right, nope. All right, guys. Nice mine cichlid right there. First fish of the day. Nice fish. Guys, check this out. They're, these are little baby carps following my bait. Look at them. There's three of them. They're tiny little carp. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And they were they were just following my bait, and one went after it. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's a snake. And there's a peacock right here. Any luck? You catch anything? There's a couple peacocks right here. Yeah. They're aggressive, yeah. I've been waiting for this because they they turned down like a couple months ago, and uh, I've been waiting for them to the bite to turn back on. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, he came off. The little one is still there. Right, guys so i spotted two uh, uh peacock bass and they were protecting their nest and I, I i uh hooked into the male but he got off and another thing i saw a snake right there i 
when the snake went into the well, he saw me. The snake saw me. He went into the water, and then uh, I saw the peacock come out from underneath that grass thing there. And I'm waiting for that male to come back. I really want to get that male. That male is decent. The female is still sitting there, but I'm going to give them some time. I'm, I'm, I might take a walk all the way down there. And then, uh, come back. Yeah, I'm going to wait for that male to come back because I know he's going to come back. Yeah, so this, these, uh, this mad juicy bait baby peacocks producing some fish. I got hit on the peacock, largemouth hit it, and I uh, got a Mayan cichlid, landed. So that's pretty good for, um, I really like the look of this bait though. It's like with the red hooks it, and the paint job is really, really nice on it. I gotta try start trying out a little bit more different baits because I've been sticking mainly to Rebel and Rapala. Uh, and uh, they, they're good baits. But I like to experiment with different baits sometimes and see what kind of fish I can catch. Because you never know. That there's all kind of fish in these canals. And you just never know what you're going to catch out here. It's like I saw... I wouldn't doubt if I see a tarpon in here one day. I've seen tarpon... I've seen one tarpon in uh, not this canal, but uh, one further down from here. I've seen him uh, just sitting like right next to uh, the culvert. He was just chilling. He was probably about 30 pounds, maybe. Give or take. Although it's windy, it's still not a bad day. At least I'm fishing. I'd rather, I'd rather be out here fishing than be at home doing nothing. All right, I'm gonna take a look over here real quick, and then I'm gonna head back. And I'm gonna hit up the other canal down all the way down there. See if we see anything. Gosh, what the heck was that? Yo, was that a was that a snook? Whatever that was, that thing was a monster. That was something like... That thing was huge, whatever it was. I don't know what the heck that was, but... It looked like a huge snook. I doubt that. That thing, that thing was way too big for that. I think it must have been 40 plus. Small snook coming in right, right here, right next to me. Oh my gosh. He looked at my bait. Oh my right at my bait oh my goodness you gotta be kidding me he looked straight at my bait his nose was touching it what that's not cool at all nah that's messed up bro you can't do that you can't come nose my bait and then not eat it. Dang, bro, that's not cool at all. His nose was touching the bait. That's so retarded. Wow. Alright, let's get this female. Man, but I, I had my chance with the male. Ooh, 
she just bumped that so hard. Hit it again. Alright guys, check this out. You're gonna see her eat this. Watch this. This is annoying her so much right now. Let's get it back in there. Oh! Dang it. Alright, let's get back in there. Hit it again. Jeez, are you guys seeing this right now? This X wrap, man. I don't know what to say about this thing, bro. I'm gonna have to, like, what I'm gonna do is when this thing is, like, completely trashed, look at that. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Got that female, finally. All right. Finally got a peacock. Oh yeah, boy. That's a good fish right there. Hey guys nice peacock here let me wash her off all right guys just got a nice peacock bass right there all right let's get the release That male, man. I'm trying to get that male. There she goes. Dang, that's a big mine cichlid. Oh my gosh. That's a huge mine cichlid. Dang, that thing is huge. Guys, just got a nice mine cichlid. This is a pretty big one. That's a good fish. That's again, that's on the uh, peacock, baby peacock. Nice, nice fish. Dang, that thing is big. It's almost the size of my foot. Look at that. Almost the size of my foot. Oop. All right, let's get him back. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I got into pretty good action. Caught two mine cichlids and a peacock bass. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the male peacock that I hooked earlier. Uh, he was after I hooked him and I caught the male, the female. The male was being kind of finicky. Every time I would go up to the spot, he would swim away and I wasn't able to get him. So 
But he was a uh, decent sized. He wasn't a giant. But well, right now the peacocks are gonna be lit up all over the place, especially if you find them paired up, because they're gonna be making beds for their nest, and they're gonna be laying eggs. And once those eggs hatch, those little the little baby peacocks, those they're gonna be defending that too. So they're gonna be lit up all over the place, uh, all over in Florida. So if you guys are um, trying to hit up some peacocks, go into some of the canals. You gotta look for them because they're all over the canals. You can find them. You just gotta put it. If you wanna, here, here's the thing. If you wanna find the, the fish, you gotta go hunting for them. You gotta hit up different spots, different canals, different areas, different lakes, and you're eventually gonna find the fish. You're gonna find where they're at. And uh, I'm planning on making a video on my my favorite baits to use for peacock bass because I've been keying in on them re uh, recently. I've been trying to like really learn them, learn how to catch them. Not really learn how to catch them, but learn their behaviors. When when is the best time to catch them, and when is the worst time to catch them? So that's what I'm up to right now. But be sure to go check out MadJuicyBaits.com for some awesome baits. Today I was using mainly the baby peacock. That's what I caught um, the two mine cichlids on, and I caught the uh, peacock on the X-wrap. But when I got there, the male peacock hit the the baby peacock like like it slammed it it had the whole thing in his mouth i have no idea how he got off the hook but he, he got off and but they make some awesome baits the, the the way the baits move in the water the way they look they're just awesome so i'll link down their website down below in the description box I'll also link down below their instagram so you can give them a follow stay tuned next week for a new video as always i always bring out a new video every week whether it be I, I find something if I don't have anything I'll find something because I always like keeping you guys up to, with fresh content all the time because that's how my channel is going to grow and we're going to expose my channel to different people and we're going to get new subscribers and we're going to grow this channel and then we're going to be doing some great stuff I have some later on in the future when I start getting um, when I when my channel gets a little bigger I have a lot of plans for the future like future trips that I'm going to be making so I hope you guys will Stay, stick around for that, and I hope that my channel can get that big for me to do that. I can't do it without the support of you guys, and you guys, all of you guys that support me already, you guys are awesome, and uh, keep doing what you're doing, keep watching my videos, keep liking, keep commenting, and doing all that good stuff. And as always, time to end this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, comment if you have any questions, concerns, and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next week for another great video. Peace out. Oh,